Yes, DC here, we're back with a movie review. Eternal Zero, a 2013 Japanese war drama film directed by Takashi Yamazaki and based on the novel of the same name by Naoki Hyukuda. And it stars Junichi Okada, Haruma Miura, and Mao Inoue. And the rest of the cast is down below. Basically, it's about two grandchildren going to interviewing veterans to figure out what kind of person their grandfather was. And all this grandfather stuff is told through flashbacks. And they figure out pretty much what kind of person he was. And that's pretty much the entire film. So what did I like about this film? Well, first off, the, the subject matter is something that I haven't seen before in terms of just dealing with kamikaze pilots like their mentality with the whole sacrificing thing and this movie talks mainly about that as to like this their grandfather is like a figure who's trying to fight against the grain of just killing yourself for the emperor and there's like the rest of everybody who's like yes i would die for honor sort of thing and it's just interesting to see how there are people who would actually fight against this whole kamikaze like thing and it, and i do wonder if it's really true i haven't read the book but i don't know if it's inspired or based off anything but i mean it's plausible that some people wouldn't want to die for your emperor when they're like i need to go back to my kids or to my family when i finish this war sort of thing and yeah so basically the entire plot was just interesting to watch and also the cgi for the dog fights were not bad uh, definitely not bad cgi for sure i mean you know it's cgi but you know it looks convincing enough um, in terms of acting, it's your typical Japanese acting. Um, I mean, Junichi Ukada, his typical, just strong-willed, you know, idealistic sort of dude. And in terms of the other characters, they don't really act much. So, in terms of acting, you don't really look for anything here. It's nothing like, oh my goodness, you got to watch this for the acting. Rather, it's just a whole mentality thing and just, like, how... I want to say it's brainwashed in terms of how some people would really die and be gung-ho for the emperor but it's just interesting to see like there is another side to this sort of thing um in terms of what i didn't like i would say the vehicle for the narrative was just kind of like ah, i didn't really like that was the whole grandchildren like hunting down veterans for interviews i sort of was hoping that the entire movie took place in world war ii and the vibe would have been more realistic i just felt that just the whole jumping back and forth thing sort of just broke the pacing like i mean when we we're in world war ii i always enjoy it and then we go jump back and i'm like oh and we'll jump and jump and jump and i just sort of wish that world war ii was always the you know the narrative but beyond that i mean it sort of builds more pathos in that sense where they really try to tug at your heartstrings like you can see the grandchildren sort of like finally figuring out who their grandfather was what kind of person he is what kind of person he was and just why would people say that he was a coward and all that stuff and i mean there is character growth but it was like they're not really essential to this story and it was more of a the grandfather thing and in the end the ending was kind of like weird i think it sort of broke the whole plausibility thing about this entire film it's like i mean the rest of the movie was just like yeah convincing enough i mean like yeah it could have happened i mean these people could have existed but at the end the ending was just like wrapping it all up as in like you wrote yourself into a corner and you sort of had to have this to happen but i would say that you could have figured a way out and sure it wouldn't be as happy but it just felt awkward to be this happy so yeah my biggest complaint is the ending and that's pretty much it in terms of this movie review i would recommend it if you want to see like this topic or the subject matter for sure and i mean it's convincing enough like their their aesthetics um and basically yeah it's convincing that's all I'm going to say. And yeah, so as always, leave your comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And that's pretty much it for this movie review for The Eternal Zero.